Felipe, please don't go down. We closed the mine because it's not safe. Of course it's safe. We must get these men back to work. You, my friend, are crazy. That's right. But I was born a Solano. Not my choice, my friend. Buenos dias. Hola, Roberto Zamorena. I guess the only grant I can apply for now is federal disaster relief. Thank you. Next, Miss Hopkins. One moment. Mr. Solano. Do you really want to do this as a career? I love music. You are gifted. You chose the most difficult of pieces. Thank you. It was not on the list. And he didn't play the required Chopin. If you'd bothered to look at his resume, you'd see he's a dilettante. We have one more audition. Come back next Wednesday. With the Chopin. Wednesday. Thank you. We got a couple of tickets to the Boston Pops tonight. <laughs> Just another damn bus.
Hello. I'm sorry. The bedroom's right over there. Is it right? Um, the bathroom has a shower. And, uh, What exactly are you proposing? Uh, if I were you, I'd make an offer pretty quick. You're here to see the apartment, right? No. I'm here to see you. Philip Solano? I'm a lawyer. Oh, God, no. It's not, it can't be that bad. I mean, I can explain about the credit cards. But can I get you something to drink? Listen, we've got juice, we've got water. Um, no, I'm Mariana Flores, your lawyer. I'm here about the estate of your father, Felipe Solano. Estate? I mean, Felipe Solano, huh? Yes. I'm sorry. He died. He was killed in a mine accident two weeks ago. He had no will. Under Chilean law, as an hijo natural, a natural child, you have rights. Natural child. Yeah, my mother would have liked that. It's very 60s, you know? At least it's better than bastard. There is one other heir. You have sister. She will get two thirds of the estate. Wait a minute. So I have a sister. How about that? How old is she? 21. It would help if you have any photos, any personal letters from him, something that he gave you. No, the only thing he ever gave me was money for my mother to have me aborted, all right? Wait a minute. Why am I telling you this? Who are you again? I told you. I'm here to represent you. So what's in it for you? 25%. 25% of what? what? What exactly are we talking about here? At least 10 million. Pesos? Dollars. I get to meet my sister, and you know, I've never been to Chile. Uh, it's not possible for you to go. What? I haven't planned this. I've got to be back here by Wednesday, all right? So um, I'll go to the hearing, I'll, I'll sign the papers, and then meet my sister. And bye -bye. Please, Philip. Why don't you just sign these papers and let me take care of this? No. I'm going to Chile. I thought you killed him in Boston. Look. There's your sister, Patricia. And her husband, Lorenzo. She's beautiful. Yeah. Smart, too. Except when it comes to picking men. That's Carson Carver. Your father's partner, the one that looks like Lennon. He owns 49% of Soldeca. Felipe had the control in 
both of them needs your share to control the company. That's only if Patricia and this Garver guy disagree. They will. Why are they just burying him now? They only reached his body Friday. They're still searching. Miners. They blame your father for closing the mine. En Santiago, a 27 de febrero de 1998, caso de herencia. Según los antecedentes que obran en nuestro poder, procedimos a otorgar la herencia legal a la única hija, doña Patricia Solano, aquí presente. Magistrado, déjeme presentarle al único hijo de Felipe Solano. ¡Obresión! Pero bueno, ¿qué dice? Esto no es heredero legítimo. ¡Mentira! ¡Bonus days! Hola. No, 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 no. Viste y considerando que existe otro heredero, el señor Philip Sonalo, se suspende la vista del caso para proceder según la ley. El juez va a tomar semanas para encontrar sus documentos. ¿Cómo te insultas a mi esposa y a mi familia así? Hey, hey, wait! <laughs> what did I say? This is Felipe's son. What a handsome young man. You must have your mother's eyes. Thank you. Garrison Carver. You'll have to excuse the family. They just went through an emotional time. Uh, Felipe never told them that they had a son. Well, never told me either. Please say you come by my office, we'll look at these papers and talk. Mariana, you know where the office is. Hmm. Philip, whatever you do, don't sign anything. I haven't yet. I'll wait for you outside. Okay. I shipped out of Halifax, Canada when I was 14. Ended up in Hong Kong, Kowloon site, working in a bar. I was much better than a slave. The owner had one of these machines, but he wouldn't let me touch it. Only sailors and whores. Saw this machine in Bangkok last month. Identical machine, so I bought it. You see? Tilt doesn't mean anything when you own the game. It's one of life's cruder lessons. What do you think about money, Philip? They say it's the root of all evil. The lack of money is the root of all evil. I came to Chile with a lot of money to invest. Now I have a bankrupt company and very little money. Creditors have taken just about everything. I wouldn't let them take this. 25,000, a new record. Here, you try. Are you saying Soldeca's bankrupt? Totally. Come on, play, I insist. If it's worth nothing, then why did my lawyer come all the way to the States to find me? Mm. Revenge. <sighs> she hates me, and she hates the family. Would you like a drink? Why? Why does she hate the family? Mm. Let's just put it off to a woman scorned. Cheers. What does that mean? Okay. She was my mistress. Then she was your father's mistress after me. It got very messy and very ugly. Look. Patricia has authorized me to offer you $100,000 for you to renounce all claims to Saldeca. My father's mistress? Uh-huh. $100,000? Hey, my lawyer, your ex-mistress says that there's millions in the estate. Of course she'd say that. As long as she has you, she can keep us locked up in court. Nobody will invest. We'll be ruined. 
I tell you what, why don't you play for it? Ten dollars a point. Hell, I just racked up 25,000 points. Okay, I'll give you $100,000 no matter what you score. You can't lose. Okay. But if I break your record, I keep the machine. Play. Why don't we just make it 400? You know, there are times when I wish I wasn't a man of my word. 2,000 in cash and a check for 400,000. And you're on the last flight out of here tonight. And uh, we can keep the machine. The children won't fall out. You're a fucking scum. Felipe never had a son. I was a son to him, though he didn't appreciate it. A court case would make dirty the Solano family name. So, for once, gringo, crime pays. Wait a minute. This is a hundred thousand dollars. This is real. I'm a man of my word. Carver is a gangster. Mariana was never his mistress or Felipe's. It was always me she wanted. Sign. Plane leaves for the United States tonight. Don't be late. Believe me, nothing in the world will keep me from getting on that plane. Your money will be delivered to you when you get on the plane. Um, could you guys drop me off at... Ah.
El cónsul, por favor. No, the American cónsul. Yes. your father for a moment. Did he write this? <laughs> it's beautiful. Although on the fourth bar, there's a drop cadence that I change. Now, where were you? You're waiting for hours. I was taken for a ride. That's where I was. I feel like a rock star. Women are chasing me, and everyone wants my autograph. I'm leaving tonight. Good. I made a deal with Carla. What? How could you do that? $400,000. That's how. And when the check clears, I'll send you your fee. But you can get 20 times more from this state. Saldeca's bankrupt. Of course he'll tell you that. No, I was there. I was in his office. It was empty. They had taken everything. Saldeca owns the building. Carver is moving into Felipe's bigger office. What are you talking about? Well, it's a burden hand. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth like you. This is enough for me. <sighs> Philip, there's so much more at stake here than you know about. Oh, yeah. I heard. There's a lot more than I know. I'm talking about 5,000 miners out of work and their families. Carver will shut down the Colota mine, but your father wanted it reopened because he cared about these people. Mm. How touching. Caring man. By an accident of birth, you have the chance to help thousands of families. If I just sign your paper, right? Yes. And I'll forget my fee. Really? The answer is still no. So if you're just here for the money, then I want to show you something. It's on the way to the airport. Let's go. You'll find all your father's private accounts in these two ledgers. And all his bank accounts in this computer file. You were right. I found at least six million in Swiss accounts so far. Just keep adding. Please, could you just leave me alone for a second? Sure. This month's check was late, and I need more for his piano lessons. As I've made clear to you before, Philip thinks that Richard Bishop is his father, and any attempt to communicate with Philip would destroy the boy. When you walked out on us, you gave up any right to consider him your son. Maybe your money or your pleased to see him can change what you did to me and to him. about everything I do with him. Told him I believed another man was my real father. Why? <laughs> he was the one supporting us. 
I had my education. She told me it was her rich aunt in Switzerland. What was he really like? Did he talk about me? Yes, he did. You don't have to lie now. It's the truth. You're a lot alike. Not on the outside, but the inside. The way you play. Your feelings. Let's go. I'm staying in Chile. What? That's right. This is not about money anymore or my audition. What is it about, then? It's about family. It's about my father. It's about me. Please, Philip. Listen, Just... I'm going to find out everything I can about my father. No, you don't want to know. Look, I don't mean everything. Philip, it was probably not an accident. Are you saying he was murdered? What do you think did it? That's the problem. Too many suspects and not enough evidence. Well, then all the more reason to find out. Philip! Wait! There's a whoever did it won't hesitate to kill again. Just sign the paper. Get on the plane, Philip. No. You're an impossible, stubborn gringo, aren't you? No sabes nada de nada, un imbécil. And you're a cold-hearted, mercenary, bourgeois bitch. Oh, really? Is that the worst you can think of? You're... you're a... You're a lawyer. What is it? No, it's nothing. Actually, I thought I had good news for you. He didn't show up at the airport. I knew that. You thought you could go around me and buy him? I made an offer on behalf of Patricia, your wife. You can't buy a Solano. Well, maybe not buy exactly, but persuade on the basis of family. Signed over his rights to me, so my wife and I have the 51%. Let me see that. This is obviously an agreement, but these last three handwritten words, one starts with a PH and the last one with an O, but pardon my Greek. But I could swear it says, fuck you, Lorenzo. Philip's obviously your brother and a Solano.
This is incredible. My great uncle started this newspaper more than a hundred years ago. <laughs> we have photos in our archive from the last century. It's amazing. We have many Solano pictures. Here. This is your great, great grandfather. I could see resemblances. You come to the right place to learn about your family history. Colotta and Solano have been always together like a marriage couple, for better or worse. Hmm. The mind is the heart of this town. And when the heart stops beating, the body dies. That's sad. So Delka says that next week, it will be my last edition, when the board of directors meets to sign the town death certificate. They say that the mine and the paper are losing money. The truth is, Philip, we are just about breaking even. There is no future in pit mining, that's for sure. That's yeah, pretty horrible work. But when you're born to it, that's all you know. We must find some other industry. But for now, the mine must be reopened. It's all we have. There is a reason you're here now. God never made mistakes. You can help save this town. You're a Solano. has been confirmed and crushed. That leaves three. I could help save this town. How could I possibly do that? As a Solano heir, you will demand the mine be reopened. Front page. Every time I say the name Solano here, people want to lynch me. They will love you if you help save this town. I'll be right back. Achilles, puede venir un momento. Para sacar dos o tres fotos. Hey, Chevella. You take a look at this. Venga, por aquí. Venga, venga. Ahí, es un poco más a la derecha. Smile. I don't care what anyone says. I want to talk to him. Lorenzo won't like it. But he's my brother. He's all the family I've got. 
Yeah, well, I'm not totally convinced of his authenticity. I'd be careful if I was you. Oh, it's about time. Wrong. What is wrong with you? Get away from me! Huh? Huh? Get away! Stop it! Come on! You're nodding in my own house with my own wife! Hey, you huh? invited him for a breakfast meeting. We didn't know where you were. Yeah, well, who else would want me killed? Who else? What are you talking about? One of your men tried to kill me. That is ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Who else? Well, at least ten husbands in town that I can name. I'm sorry, Patrice. Thank you. That's it. Patricia. Patricia! Don't be afraid of losing her, Lorenzo. Be afraid of losing everything you have because you haven't looked after business. The first shipment arrives next week, and the minister has not approved the permit. You will approve it, I guarantee it. Oh, you guarantee Yes, I guarantee it. He's worried about the press, what they'll say about the nuclear waste we're putting into the mines. Well, you tell him not to worry about the press. I can look after the press. What I'm afraid of is young Solano running around Colota alive. He is our real threat. No one is going to believe another accident with a Solano. Well, it doesn't have to be an accident. He can just disappear. He has no real family to miss him or inquire about him. You were good at people disappearing. That's what you used to do in the army, right? Roberto Zamorin is still alive. <laughs> yeah, his brother Marcos. Uh, Solano, uh, Solano, yes! Don't vote. No, hey, really, come on. you don't understand. Wait, wait. Hey, uh, Excuse me. Hey, hey, uh,
Uno, uno, segundo. Hey. What are you doing here? Well, I was born here. This is my town, my people. No silver spot. Oscar, this is Philip. You know this guy? <laughs> Would you defend him in some murder trial or something? Not yet. Oscar's my uncle, the wealthy side of the family. He had a job. So now you are with the son of Solano, a princessa? My uncle's so old-fashioned. He believes in, in class struggle and all of that. He needs a Solano to hate. Your father was a son of a bitch. You are a son of a bitch, but I like you. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know where I belong. I know exactly how you feel. You know him? Yeah, I knew him. Why? I have a picture of him. Above ground, after the explosion. Really? He's alive. What do you know about him? Don't ask me. That's Rosa, over there. Buy her a drink. Mariana. <laughs> sí. Qué lindo. ¿De dónde sacaste eso? Me la dio mi hombre. Mariana, nunca confíes en los hombres. Nunca más. What she said? She said never trust men. Is that all? That does say it all. Rosa, where's donde Roberto? Roberto. Yes. His secret. Secreto. Huh? He telephone. Cuenca, Miami. No telephone. No Roberto. And Marcos. Donde está Marcos? I'd say he's long gone from Chile. No, Marcos, say Chacabuco, C11. Chacabuco. Chacabuco. There's a lot of Chacabucos in Chile. Chacabuco River, Chacabuco Village. There's a hotel Chacabuco in Santiago, too. Bailemos. <laughs> Dance. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, no, no, listen. Um, I'm whoa. Amigo. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, hey, hi. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Oh, ma. No, no, por favor. Sí. Hey, no oh. way, Jose. Oh, you met Jose. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor in Spain. It's Pisco's our national drink. You don't have any choice. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, oh. drink it. Oh, I'm gonna say designated driver in Spanish. Well, I think you're a designated drinker. Drinker. <laughs> Drink. Come oh. on.
How'd she get here? Philip. Your father would be very proud of you, but I know he would want you safe back in Boston. Here's your ticket to fly home. I will let you know what happens with the escape. Stop! Butter! Butter with one! What the hell's going on? There is no answer. You sure you got the right number? Of course. Well, then hang up and try again. Hang up. Yes. OK. Hey, it doesn't count. Come on, we have a job to do. Making sense. Scarface stationed over in Chacabuco. A little demolitions expert, he's in the army, right? Demoliciones, how do you say? Demoliciones, right? Thank you, Rosa, I'm learning Spanish this way. Thank you very much. Probably for more than I will ever want to remember. Chacabuco, Chacabuco. Chaca, chaca, Chacabuco. Está gringo. Felipe Solano. Come a very good trip, sir. That wasn't very nice what you did to me back there. What are you doing no, here? What are you doing here? How could you leave me like that? I was protecting you. Yes, protecting me. Is that why you're taking the only flight that can get you all the way to Chacabuco for my protection? You have to work with me. No, I don't. You wouldn't have gotten this far without me. Listen, I've written a letter to my sister that turns over my share and Soldega to her. That means that Lorenzo controls the company and closes the mine. Tickets, uh, please. See, um, if you agree to be straight with me, and if we can work together, I won't mail it. Hey, excuse me, uh, por favor. Come on. Gracias. I guess you knew him really well, huh? Yeah, very well. Are you really his lover? <laughs> No. You'll hear a lot of things. I was his natural daughter, that I was his lover. Maybe both. <sighs> if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where I am. Hey, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here at all. So? So when my father was dying, Felipe promised him he would look after me. He respected my father, even though they were on opposite sides. My father was a union leader. Felipe made sure that I got an education. University, I got in some trouble. Not sex, drugs, or rock and roll? Worse than that. Politics. Oh. I got arrested. You? Yeah. <laughs> Your father got me out of jail. Made me study law. So I know with the ruling class. Hey, that's that pickup truck. It's been following us all the way from Antofagasta. I know. <laughs> I 
that how you practice law in Chile? <laughs> no. At university, it was an extracurricular activity. Hmm. By the way, do you know how to use this? Sure, you just point it and shoot like a camera, right? Yeah, just don't ask for a smile first. This is it. Chacabuco. 5,000 people lived here. Mining nitrates. Your family owned it. What happened? The boom went bust. Well, someone could hide out here for about a year before we'd ever find them. There's Rosie. Eleven must be this way. Four men with guns. Where's the car? Oh, there goes our ride. Lorenzo.
There's no use going to the police. Lorenzo will have gotten rid of the body. Well, what about Marcos, Roberto's brother? He's our best chance now. Doña Chavela, do you think Marcos could be there? No answer at Rosa's. Here, what about this? Valpa, 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 this is what, um... Cerro Alegre, 50 euros, that's a street in Valparaiso. Yeah, that's what uh, Doña Chavalo said. Those girls have been staring at me, what do you think? What are those uniforms, are they junior police or something? <laughs> They're school girls, they think you're cute. I have to make another phone call. I'm well, not that cute. Call. A friend journalist. He'll be in Santiago. I left a message. Get a little of this. Doesn't look good. What? This is serious. They're in big trouble. What? What's it say? Solano Air murders a whore in. Oh my God. It's Rosa. Colota Hotel. Wait a minute. <sighs> we need to get out of this town. They know that we were on that train. They'll be checking the airport and the bus station. Mm -hmm. How about a boat? No, no, look, they're looking for me, okay? What about, what if you rent a car? Is that all right? The police have checkpoints every 50 kilometers on the highways here, and they're looking for us. All right, we'll split up. It's okay. I, I'll, I'll make out. No, I think we are together in this. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Okay, well, uh, change your plans. We better lay low somewhere, travel at night. Let's get some sleep.
door. Please, not now, okay? Just, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear another word. I just, all I want to know is that it's you and me right now. Not now. What? What, is it some sort of professional ethics thing? If that's a problem, then you're fired. Okay? I'm just gonna sleep. You know what? I'm gonna take a cold swim. It would be nice if we could stop the world and get off. It's so beautiful. Well, we should uh, keep moving to Santiago. What about going to Valparaiso to find Marcos first? Then we got proof for the press. It's on the way to Santiago. They're making their way to Valparaiso. They are going to Marco's place. That's right. They're fugitives now. Makes your job a lot easier. My job? It's wonderful. Thank you. What are you waiting for? Get going. The last time. This is the last time. His way. That's right. That must be Marcus's place down there. Hello, Marcos? Marcos Amorena? Permiso? Marcos? There's Rosa, Marcos, and Roberto. In happier times.
if I'm up to finding another dead body. No luck. I must have taken the wrong turn. Did you see him? No. You've been lying to me from the start, haven't you? What are you talking about? I saw you talking to him. Right? You told me to go the other way. What the hell? Has it been one lie after the other? Is that it? Well, you should have never got You should have here. never lied to me. Okay, I trusted you. Hey, I, I'm I was... just trying to protect you. Don't Cut the that. bullshit! Huh? Carver was right. Oh, God, don't tell me. Don't tell me you had something to do with my father's murder. Lorenzo. They will kill anyone. Who? They killed Marco days ago. Who are they? Who? I can't kill him. Mariana. I beg you. Leave Chile. Leave. This is too big. I can't. this. I killed your father. Hey. I'm sorry. Trame un cura. Por favor.
No, I'm going to the police, okay? I can explain everything. Why should I trust you? Because whatever we do, we've had it, okay? Let's go. Now, quick! Follow me. What the hell's going on? The truth this time. You know soon. I promise. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I know a way in around the back. I'll open the door for you. Wait for me. Welcome, Felipe.
I'll never see you. Oh, God, you've got your mother's looks. Oh, <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> That was a beautiful piece. Thank you. And I know that you play, too. Yeah. I just wish I had a little more time to work on it. For 30 years, you know. 30 years, I never heard a word from you. Nothing. And now, oh, it's convenient for you. I just, you just use me. You were supposed to be safe in the States. I was told I had a sister and a father who was dead. The great thing about being dead is that you have to let go of the past. Can you do that? But I needed you. I needed a father. A real father. Too many of those. Felipe, Lorenzo's dead. Shot right in front of us. Carla, it's not the miners. It's Carla. Why didn't you just tell me? It was crucial that no one knew. I tried to tell you at the beach. We must hurry. The border's 12 kilometers from here. It should be a good hike with the full moon. What kind of shoes do you have? Wait a minute. The whole idea was once we knew we would go to the press, right? Maybe for the miners, but not for Carver. We're not safe here in Chile. Besides, my son is wanted for murder. And killing me has no consequences. I'm dead already. All this incredible turn of this century architecture, everything, all this metal work, it's for sale. And I can get secured. Government. Patron. Excuse me, show them the plants. Look down. What? We found them. Where? In Cajon de Maipo. They're trying to get into Argentina. Thank you. Thank you. Felipe, uh, I don't know what to call you. Call me whatever feels good, you. <laughs> what feels good is that we all go to Colota and you see, the press will be there for that board meeting. <laughs> we'll never make it to that meeting alive. I don't want to lose you again. You're never going to lose me again. You know, it really is a curse being born rich and a salon. I'm not rich. Yeah, you will be when I'm dead, huh? <laughs> Listen, see if you can talk some sense into my son. He wants to go to Colota to be buried in the family plot. <laughs> He's right, but I'm the one that's going. Well, is everybody going crazy around here? We have to stop Carver. We need to open the mine. I can't let you go. I made a promise to your father. My father would expect me to go, and he would expect you to go, too. That settles it. We have no choice. We're going to Colota. Look. You have the right to be complete fools, but not dead fools. Come with us. When you two have come to your senses, I'll be at the German Inn in Mendoza. I'll wait for 24 hours. He's walked out again.
Uh, I'm here to see the apartment, right? Uh, mm. I'm here to see you, Phillips. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pay a lawyer. Mariana, in the wrong bed. You know, it's a shame you could have been with me on the winning side. The two of you have kept my men quite busy. You know, a uh, few of my more unsavory Mexican business partners have the saying, plata o plomo. Silver or lead. And you, my son, have chosen to turn down the silver. So, what do responsible citizens like us do with a couple of dangerous murderers? You are the murderer. Man. The question is, do we give the police the opportunity of finding your body, or do you just disappear? What do you want? I mean, disappearing could be quite interesting. You mean disappear like and go to Argentina or something? What about dropping them into the volcano? I always wanted to do that. French fries. No. I'm kind of attracted to the idea of young lovers escaping through the mountains, both murders. They fall to their death. Yeah, it's got a romantic ring to it. You look after the details, Pedro. Yes, sir. I have some pressing corporate obligations. I'm going to enjoy running Soldeca. You know, you two might even become a legend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Philip. I'm sorry I got you into this. I'm not. I'm not sorry at all. At least at this point. It's not many couples these days commit suicide with their arms tied behind their backs. Shut up. Step forward. Why? Why'd you just put two bullets in me? Let's call it murder. What the hell?
Hazardous materials is nil. The waste dump site is at the harbor. Now, our new. Oh, yes, of course. Before we vote, as chairman of Soldeca, I'd like to express the company's great sorrow at the recent losses, and our heart goes out to the families. Would you please join me in observing a moment of silence for these recent deaths and for the loss of our. Late Chairman Philip, uh, Felipe Solano, whose great grandfather had the foresight and vision to erect this historic venture. Can I have that moment now, please? Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for their heartfelt condolences. <laughs> oh, your flowers were particularly beautiful. Ah. <laughs> 